Many people connected with the movement sparked by George Floyd's murder say this is just the beginning. Taylor Lazenby is live in downtown Madison with what our local leaders are saying needs to happen next. Hi, Taylor. Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Chris. That's right. Community members gathered together to watch the verdict of the Derek Chauvin trial unfold, including our Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes. Now, when he heard the guilty plea, Boys and Girls Club President and CEO Michael Johnson said that he cried hearing that verdict. Mixed emotions ran high yesterday with mixed emotions of vindication, relief, and for some, for Chief Barnes, there was some disappointment. And I think that uh, we need to show empathy. And uh, there's so much division around uh, policing in this nation that hopefully that this is a step uh, towards uh, some, some, some significant um, systemic changes that need to be made. A small group gathered at the Capitol last night following the verdict as well, showing support for George Floyd. Now, as of this morning, there is nobody here at the Capitol, but we are learning that Madison's new police chief Barnes and Johnson were again there together to hear that verdict. And we'll hear from the men later in the next half hour. All right, Taylor Lazmi live on State Street this morning. Thanks, Taylor.